Hi, and welcome to Paper Root Scrapbooking. I'm Nadine, and today I'm working with Sketch 16 from the One Page Sketches for 6x6 Paper Pads class with Allison Davis from Scrapbook Generation. So I'm taking a little bit of a different approach this time. Instead of pulling from my 6x6 paper pads, I am inspired to use up the rest of these stickers um, before I'm finished my grandson's first year album and I in I didn't find a 6x6 paper pad that coordinated with this so what I did was I went to my scrap box instead and pulled out some coordinating scraps now I don't know if I'll use all of these or not but I just picked the colors that I thought went with it so I had these couple of scraps from this little bunny collection that seem to have a lot of the colors from it and then I had this uh, eight and a half by eleven sheet of yellow polka dot which goes with this little bit of yellow up here I think it gives it a nice pop of color and then I found this green this lighter green kind of polka dot sheet um, and then so that's a lot of polka dots so I'm not really sure if I'm gonna go with all of those or I'm gonna take a different route but nevertheless and then I found this scrap of um, I think this is bow bunny double dot grid and lined uh, cardstock so that all together kind of makes these colors coordinate together so instead of using six by six papers I'm going to use scraps of paper so I got my base page put together um, in her sketch, Allison has four 4x4 four four squares centered in the middle of her page, and she has hand stitching on it, of course. Um, I didn't do that, but I put some faux stitching to mimic the stitching on there. And instead of one basic background, I put this um, cream-colored sheet on top of a diagonal stripe that kind of coordinated and let's see so i have my photo strips all cut out and ready to go i have um this little strip here and then this one i popped up on foam this is just uh unfun foam i guess it doesn't have the adhesive on it i just put adhesive on the paper and then stuck the foam to it so put adhesive on the other side when I'm ready to put it down and I think they will just go like this so I guess I can glue those down um, I really liked the um, Allison Davis's take on this sketch um, it she used uh, like die cut photo strip pieces um, to go with hers and it looked really good I think that that was a great idea I thought about doing it with this one but I decided not to I just wanted to mount them on paper for this particular layout now I want to get these stickers on here so these ones look like gifts or cupcake maybe I don't know um, but I'm just going to use them as layering pieces so this one I think is going to go on this side so on her sketch there are stars that represent the embellishment clusters but of course they don't have to be stars so I'm just going to put these down here There we go. I don't know if I like that because it's kind of the same color as the background piece. Maybe I want it on this side. There we go. And then we can take this other one put it on the side mm -hmm. 
than this. Oh, I didn't ink this one. Oh, I'm not much of a girly girl. I had my nails done for a wedding, two weddings, actually. So I had them done for my son's wedding a while ago. And then I had them redone because my best friend's son got married on Saturday. And, uh, yeah, I'm just not used to them when it comes to picking things up and picking things apart. It's just not my jam. So I'll have to get them put back to normal here soon. And under there. see, they don't want to lift. Didn't even do anything fancy to them. They're just painted basically. Okay, so now we have some little layering pieces and I want to put my title on. So the title I chose Hope and Dream just because this is all about his little face and his eyes. He have the most beautiful eyes. And I got that title from this. Um, it's actually called Hope and Dream Glitter Foam Stickers from American Crafts. And I think they were from a Chamel collection, but don't quote me on that. I do like the color though. So I also like these foam words that you can kind of like stretch them out or push them together to make them fit in whatever space you have. Like I'm going to squish this one a little bit so that it fits into my square. You know what I mean? So what's everybody been up to? How's everybody been doing? I feel like I, I actually haven't. I know I've posted some videos, but I actually haven't recorded any in quite a while because I have been out and about and spent much of the month of August in Ontario with visiting my son's family. And then when we got back, um, we just had a lot going on. Another wedding. I know it's maybe not the best joke ever, but yesterday I made the joke that my all I did this summer was two weddings and a funeral because that's kind of what it feels like. It feels like I was getting ready for something every time I turned around. But next up is my youngest son's big move. He's leaving the nest, going to his first home away from home. Out of province, of course, because, you know, why stay close? when you can go so far really spreading those wings so hope and dream that's good and then to go to bring that glitter around I don't know if you can even tell that it's glitter on there and it looks hard to read um, on camera just looking at it on the camera but in real life you can totally see what it says I wonder if I moved it. No, because then the... No, it's fine. I can see it just fine. So this one, I'm going to put a heart here. And I'm going to put one up here. And then I'm also going to put these little, like, diaper pins on. As embellishment bits. These little stickers. And then I will have used up this sticker sheet from... The, I don't remember what the collection was called. Does it say on here? No, it just says Creative Memories. So they were Creative Memories cardstock stickers. Baby style. I think they were pretty old, but I'm not 100% sure. There we go. And then this one with a little bit of yellow on it. There we go. And don't you just love when you use up a whole... I don't know. There's like some kind of satisfaction when I use up an embellishment sheet or something like that. 
Okay, so now I have my journaling. I'm going to just, I think, so I left them in the same size strips just to give it a try. Just because I see Allison doing that and I kind of like the look of it. So I thought, well, I'll try it on one of my pages and see, if, see how it goes. See, now I feel like it doesn't fit. Oh, well. Snip, snip. Okay. I'm just going to cut the ends off. I did measure it, but sometimes things don't just come out the way you plan, hey? Oh my goodness. Messy. So I had um the best time with this little guy and his sister. We went out to Ontario and I took both his uncles and their girlfriends and, <laughs> and his grandpa. And we had such a fun time and he just was like so excited to have so many people to play with him all the time. <laughs> it was so cute. And then he um, we went out to Niagara Falls because that's what our trip was originally supposed to be was all of us going to Niagara Falls before my son and his fiance decided they would get married that same week and we went out there and um, he, he, we went to the he all he could talk about was seeing the animals we're gonna go see the animals we're gonna go see the animals we're gonna go see the animals and so we went to um, there's like I can't remember what it's called, but it's some kind of zoo just outside of Niagara Falls. And he was so excited looking at all the animals. And um, he especially, like, I've never seen a little kid that age, like, so fascinated. Like, he's not a stay still person at all, ever. And yet he stood outside the monkey cages and watched them play for like, I don't know how long and talked about them for days after. He was just so funny. And then we went to, what else did we do? Oh yeah, and then his mom and dad went home to get ready for the wedding because they had stuff to set up and whatever. But he got to stay with us in Niagara Falls because we had already booked our Airbnb before they planned the wedding and um, couldn't get our money back. So we stayed out there with the other two. We also had to go to the airport and stuff. Anyways, lots of logistics there, but they let us keep him with us so that he wasn't underfoot with them, but also so that we could spend more time with him. <laughs> and we took him to uh, Casa Loma which is kind of a boring place for little kids, but they had a, a dragon um, exhibit, I guess. And he's, his mom said yesterday, he's still talking about the dragons. I went and saw a dragon. Uncle took me to see a dragon. So it was really funny that he is so like fascinated. I love that he's to the age now where he like remembers after I leave. Like I feel like when he was like this age or whatever, it was like, yeah, we get to spend time together. And then after I leave, he will not remember that I was ever there <laughs> or he won't remember, you know? Um, but now he's like, he asks for me and he asks to send me pictures and it's cute. It's cute. I can't wait till he's a little bit bigger and we can get like I think there's like a kid's messenger or something that you can get where he can like message me from his tablet or whatever. He's not old enough for that yet, but that'll be fun when he can just pick up and do it whenever he wants. Okay, so my journaling reads, Quentin's big beautiful blue eyes melt my heart. I always wonder what he's thinking when he stares off. His teeth have really been bothering him, but he's still just the sweetest little boy full of smiles and extra snuggles. One night he had a fever and mommy and daddy took turns sleeping on the couch with him until his fever broke in the early morning. So that was 
just kind of a compilation of all the different text messages that I had with these photos instead of making a page for each and every one. And then we have for finishing touch some, it's going to be pretty straightforward layout, but um, for finishing touch, I have these. Um, they're matte enamel dots. So anyway, these ones are from Your Next Stamp and these ones are from Doodlebug, but I tucked them in together because the yellows were the same and the turquoise was pretty close to the same as well. So I think I'm going to put a few over here. And then... Maybe not. Maybe we'll do some size difference in this one. They won't all be able to have size differences, I don't think. I don't think I have enough. Well, we will see what we can accomplish, hey? Okay, so then, so that's one little grouping. I don't know if I like it there though. Uh oh. What did I put this on with? I think they have glue dots on the back. Uh, oh, that's okay. Did I get the glue dot? Hmm, okay. And then that one wasn't as hard. And then this little blue one, the last of my dark blues. Can you tell what's my favorite? <laughs> okay, and then how about uh big yellow one over here and the green one and then a little blue see those ones are kind of the same size hey I wonder if I can oh again with the extreme glue what the heck there and a cluster over here I guess so how about we do well let's just do the same one we did up there because that's the colors that I have so we'll do green oh my goodness And a medium blue and then a tiny yellow so same colors but in a different order okay so I think I think that about does it um, yeah okay so we got our four four by four squares we have our title and journaling and photos and embellishments. Oh, I need a date on here. I knew I was missing something. Okay, where's my date stamp? All right. And let's see, what was the date? I think these were all in May of 2019. And I'm just going to leave this blank. There we go. And let's see if I can... Okay. Hmm. May. There we go. So now we have photos, date, journaling title, and we have completed sketch 16 from the one page sketches for 6x6 paper pads class with Allison Davis from Scrapbook Generation.
uh, that's it for this layout. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please click that like button to give me a thumbs up. Hit the show more button under the video description if you'd like to find the links to some of the things that we talked about today. And if you have a question or comment, please leave it down below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. If you would like to see more of my videos, it would make my day to have you as a subscriber. So just click that subscribe button and be sure to hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when a new video goes up. Have a great day, everyone. Bye for now.